How y'all doing? My name is Chris Stoy with Hutchinson Stoy PLLC here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, in all the experience I have with dealing with car wreck victims, one of the most common questions that we get is, what am I going to do about a rental? Now, you can't just, we can't just answer that one question. There's actually a lot of questions that come up. Uh, the first one is, for example, someone else caused the wreck, okay, and they have insurance, which is accepted liability. How do I go about getting a rental? Well, you should be able to file a claim with the at-fault party's insurance company and immediately following the wreck. So long as the insurance company accepts liability, they'll usually have you in a rental vehicle within a day or two. In order to file a claim, you need to call the insurance company for the at-fault party to begin the claim process. But be careful when you do this because the at-fault party's insurance company may want to take a recorded statement and they're definitely going to look for every opportunity they can to deny the claim. Question number two, uh, why wouldn't the insurance company for the at-fault party accept liability? Yeah, right? Because um, they're insurance companies. But honestly, the simple answer is that insurance companies, like I said, look for every opportunity they can find to deny paying you what you're owed. You could be absolutely certain that the other person was at fault. Say, for example, they rear-ended you. Unfortunately, following a wreck, some people have a tendency to want to kind of shirk responsibility, right? Maybe they tell their insurance company that you pulled in front of them right before they rear-ended you or that you slammed on your brakes. If the insurance company for the at-fault party can find any reason to find you at fault, it will. Moreover, if they find you at fault, they pretty much always deny you a rental vehicle. Uh, so question, that brings us to question number three. What do I do if the insurance company for the at-fault party refuses to provide me a rental? Well, this is kind of a, a two-part answer, so we'll start with answer one. Um, you fight them. No, I'm just kidding. Not literally. You, you do, though, have to prove that you weren't at fault for the wreck. Here are some things that we would do if you hired us to help you, but you're absolutely capable of doing these on your own. Uh, first, collect the police report. If it shows that the other person was at fault, send it to the insurance company for the at-fault party. If it's incorrect, see if you can get it corrected by maybe contacting the officer. Uh, also, talk to the officer who wrote the report. See if he'll give you a written statement saying that the other person was at fault. Uh, take recorded interviews of witnesses. We often will take a GoPro with us to record a witness statement. Um, it's, it's incredible. People are really usually willing to cooperate. If you'll go find them, meet with them on their schedule, ask them if it's okay to record the interview, it, it works out more times than you would think. Second answer, you can front the money for the rental and then seek reimbursement later. Under Texas law, technically the at-fault party has to compensate the other for a rental vehicle. Yes, technically, uh, that's what I said, the at-fault party, not their insurance. To understand this better, you need to read about direct versus non-direct action states, uh, but we'll get into that in a different blog. Now, if the at-fault party's insured declines to pay for a rental, you must file suit against the at-fault party and get a trial verdict against them before you can, quote unquote, force their insurer to pay for a rental. Uh, insurance companies understand this law and they're going to use it to their advantage. They'll deny the claim, hoping that you'll go away, and then since there's a limit for how much they actually have to pay, and we'll talk about that later, um, they don't really care if they get stuck with the bill later. But if the insurance company for the at-fault party is denying you reimbursement, you may have to file suit against that at-fault party and make them go to trial to collect money. Uh, for more information on, on this, um, go again, look at our blog on, on what a direct versus non-direct action state is. The next question, question number four, will my insurance pay for a rental car for me even if I wasn't at fault? 
Answer, that depends. If you have rental coverage, yeah, your insurance company will typically pay for a rental car for you. They'll, they'll make sure you're taken care of. Your insurance will then have a subrogated right to go after the insurance company for the at-fault party for, for reimbursement for the amount it paid. Subrogation is a legal term. If you want to learn more about that, we actually have a blog on what subrogation is. Now, if you don't have rental insurance, then no. Your insurance company will not pay for a rental car for you. Uh, I'll talk about more about this in a second about what you can do. But let's move on to question five. What if the insurance company for the at-fault party won't provide me a rental vehicle and I don't have rental coverage? Answer, um, <clears throat> it's a tough situation and uh, it's very unfair. Um, you confront the cost yourself and hope to collect it later. If the insurance company for the at-fault party is denying a rental, it's probably because they're insured saying that you're at fault. If you weren't at fault for the wreck, you're ultimately entitled to that reimbursement, but again, you'll have to front that money yourself. Now, um, before you, you get to worrying, you may qualify for the Hutchison and Stoy rental reimbursement program, wherein we will front the cost of a rental and then collect that later out of the suit. Um, again, I've talked about direct versus non-direct action states and, and we'll get into that later on. But let's move on to the next question, question number six. How long do I get a rental for after the car wreck? Well, that depends. Was your car totaled or is it repairable? If your car is repairable, then you're entitled to a rental vehicle for the period of time that it takes to repair your vehicle. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with an insurance company and they're paying for the rental, they somehow seem to think that mechanics and body shops work you know, 24 hours a day nonstop. Uh, accordingly, they often give you a rental vehicle for much less time than you need, but that's a different problem in and of itself. Now, if your car is totaled, you get a rental vehicle for the time that it takes to find a replacement vehicle. This is actually pretty new law in Texas. Prior to January, I believe, 8th of 2016, the law was unclear about whether you were entitled to a rental vehicle in the event your vehicle was deemed a total loss, or in other words, total. But now, according to Texas Supreme Court opinion and J&D Towing v. Um, American Alt Insurance Company, I think is what it is, you're entitled to a rental vehicle in the same class as the vehicle that was totaled for a period of time required to obtain replacement property. Clear as mud, right? Now, insurance companies are usually so slow to follow the law, so don't be surprised if an insurance company tells you that you're not entitled to a rental vehicle because your vehicle was deemed a total loss. Question seven, what kind of rental car do I get? Uh, you can go get a Corvette, no, I'm just kidding. Under Texas law, you're entitled to a rental car in the same class as your vehicle. So no, you don't get a Corvette. If you were you know, driving a Chevy truck, you get a Chevy truck. Question eight, can I choose any rental car company I want? Mm, that depends. Typically the insurance company that's paying for your rental will have a relationship with the rental car company they may want to use. Hey, don't rock the boat. If the rent insurance is paying for your rental, just stick with the company that they suggest. Uh, now, on a side note, I don't suggest that you go with the body shop that the insurance company suggests. I suggest you look around and find one that's independent because uh, that's a more important thing, the actual value of, of your property damage. Question nine, am I entitled to a rental vehicle if I'm not the owner of the vehicle I was driving in the wreck? Answer, no. Uh, the driver of the vehicle is not entitled to rental car, the owner is though. I hope this blog helps. Of course, there's always tons more questions out there. If you got one, give us a shout at the office, 817-820-0100. Thanks.